Hey guys, this is the Ultimate Warrior here, and I wanted to do an unboxing, a super late unboxing, of uh, Code Realize, the Bouquet of Rainbows, the limited edition. So, and forgive me, if I sound kind of funny, I feel like I'm kind of coming down with something. I've been blowing my nose all day, and my throat kind of feels tickly. Well, not tickly, but it just kind of feels weird, and there's been, like, the cold going around. In my family, so yeah. If I sound funny, that's why. Hopefully, I don't catch anything, but sometimes these things just can't be helped. But, um, so I actually got this game when it released, and I have, I cannot for the life of me remember when this game was released. I think it was about eight months ago, so almost a year ago when this game was released. And this is, I never really got around to doing it. I really wasn't feeling visual novels because, you know, I, I work 10 to 12 hour shifts at night and others don't have the energy to play through them. Well, I was just happened, happened, uh, I just happened to look in my room. I think I was trying to find something. And lo and behold, I saw a box and inside the box was this. So I figured, you know, I pre-ordered this game. I need to go ahead and play it. So, it's actually a New Year's resolution of mine to play this game. So, um, the first game was really good. And the Bouquet of Rainbows actually comes with the first game. And then it comes with uh, the, the sequel, Future Blessings. So, here's what the, the front looks like. Really beautiful. And here's what the back looks like. I'll go ahead and read it for you, but let me read the front first. So, the limited edition includes, and this is a little sticker for that. It includes the game, the 17 by 24 inch printed cloth banner, eight exclusive 4 by 6 bromide character cards, and a set of nine buttons, uh, 1.5 with chibi character art. And honestly, I don't really care about the buttons because I don't really like chibi forms. But the cloth is pretty cool in the cards, but I might end up selling them. Uh... The PlayStation Vita actually has the better art, in my opinion, and I regret not picking that up, but I picked this up because it comes with both the original game and the sequel for the PS4. So, let me go ahead and read the back to you. Again, sorry for my stuffy nose. I probably should have waited to do this, but I was in the mood to make a video, so whatever. <laughs> Anyways, she saw only one thing, love. Code Realized, Guardian of Rebirth. This is just the synopsis of the first game. This is a story about a poisonous girl. This all happened many, many years ago. The girl searched. Grass withered. The girl searched even harder. Flowers were the next to die. Even so, the girl continued her search. Eventually, the whole land rotted. The girl was a monster, a lonely monster. And Code Realized Future Blessings, the girl who was once called a monster finally discovered love. The joyful days that followed with those five gentlemen were what she had been yearning for in the future that could be with him. In like brackets. I assume they mean uh, Arsene Lupin. New, anyways, new characters appear in never-before-seen stories and new endings unfold. What sort of future awaits for the girl? So, yes, yeah, so, this is so beautiful. I don't want to open it, but if I don't open it now, I feel like I will never open it. Um, I wanted to reach for my blade, but my blade's kind of out of reaching if I move too much. My webcam might stop, so I'm just going to open it with a toothpick. Yeah, that's that's very classy. So, it might take a little bit longer. And again, this is this, the the box art is so beautiful that I just really don't want to open it. Let's look at that just one more time. So, yeah. Got to be careful. So sorry, so sorry. Now, as much as I love to, to stream this game, I'm going to try to stream it, see if my PlayStation 4 will allow me to. If it doesn't, you know, oh well, I'm not going to try to uh, get some type of card capture or anything. Because this is an access game, meaning 
There's a high chance they will not want this stream. The Ask Access USA or the like the English company for access, the translators in. Asked them would we be able to live stream and they said they were working on it, but for now, let's just say no. But hopefully they changed their mind. I couldn't get another answer, so we'll see. So look at this nice beautiful box. It's even more beautiful and clear in person now that we have the skin off. And I hate to ruin it, but it just seems like I'm kind of like Cardadia in a sense. Everything I touch, it tends to get messed up. It's just part of my nature. Um, let's see. Already has like a little dent right there. And yeah, that's just, that's just me. <sighs> Here we have Code Realize, the Pokea of Rainbows. I'm guessing both video games are in here. And, uh, yeah. This is beautiful. I like, like, again, I like the PlayStation Vita's version. Artwork better. I wish I would have picked that up. But, it is what it is. And here's the rest of this stuff. So, here's the cloth poster. I don't know if I really want to open it because I might want to try to sell it later or maybe not I may do another video if I decide to keep it you know if, if uh, you guys are interested in it and uh, here are the little chippy pins you see little uh, a Abraham von Helsing there uh, Again, I really, I don't think I want to open those. But you know what? This is an unboxing, so. Here are the cards. I really, I really want to look at the cards. I guess it's like I got the limited edition. I might as well open it, you know. Like the plastic on these are super tough. Oh, and this is so cute. Cold Realize uh, character. It says character pin set. There we go. <sighs> I gotta blow my nose now. I'm probably not gonna go through all of the cards, but. See, these are cool. You got Cardadia. Then it has like a little blurb about her. Let's see. Cardadia. Through isolated and shunned, oh, though isolated and shunned much of her life, she was able to discover what it meant to feel and to love with the help of the friends she made over the course of her adventures. Once seen by others and herself as a monster, she blossomed into a beautiful young woman capable of loving and being loved. So that's, that's my gorgeous, my gorgeous Cardadia. We have the main guy, Arson Lupin. So, I'm not going to read through his. Simply because I don't, I like him the least. But, um, if you guys really want me to read through it, like, I'm, I may just make another video. And I don't want this video to be too long because it's long enough already. So here we have my boy, Abraham Von Helsing. I'll go ahead and read through his. Uh, there we go. I cosplayed as him, so he has a special place in my heart, even though he got screwed over by uh, in the last, in the first one, because uh, they didn't get the kiss. Uh, I feel like I'm just getting worse and worse as the, uh, as the webcam goes on or the video goes on. But anyways, the renowned vampire hunter considered to be almost more dangerous than the creatures he pursued. His ties to the British military ensured that he was always treated as a valuable, if barely controlled, asset of the Empire. Hidden strength. Although his fighting skills and sheer ruthlessness are legendary amongst even the most battle-tested of soldiers, his experiences with Cardadia allowed him to free himself of the shackles of his past and find peace. My boy. And uh, we have... Victor Frankenstein. I love him. Uh, if you guys want me to read through it, 
I'll, I'll do that or I'll write it down in the description below. But I'm just pretty much trying to keep myself from falling apart here. So we have Empty Barbicane. I love him too. All of these guys are just totally awesome for Cardadia. You know, even Arson, but... Now, St. Germain, that's my baby. That's my boo thing right there. Or, my, that's my boo. So, I'll read his. Count St. Germain, or Saint German. A gentleman with a compassionate demeanor and an ar aristocratic bearing, he offered his mansion in London to Cartadilla and the others as a temporary home and base of operations. Once a member of the secret society known as Idel, or Idea, he was able to throw off the shackles of immortality and find the serenity and contentment he previously thought impossible. And so we have Phoenix. I don't really care to read his because he's a douchebag. And then we have Herlock Sholmes. And I uh, don't know if I really want to care to read his. Um, I'll read one more. That's because I read Cardadia Abraham. And you know, I'll go ahead and read Empies. No, Victor Frankenstein. So, a research scientist once tied to the British government. He is considered to possess exceptional intelligence and knowledge, even amongst his peers. Despite his renown as a scientist, he is incredibly humble and easy to get along to get along with, and will follow the lead of those around him should it be the best course of action. It was his ability to take the lead when necessary that prevented what could have been a massacre of epic proportions. So yeah, that was good. I mean, that that was a good game. Or he had a good, uh, whatever you call it, storyline. Uh, oh. The laptop charger I was looking for is no longer available. That was just my email. But we'll read MPs, MP Barbicane's. Lupin's partner in crime who accompanied him to London, extremely bright, laid back, and more than a little frivolous at times. His occasional lapse, lapses of common sense can be forgiven due to his obvious genius when it comes to all things mechanical. After reclaiming that which was most important to him, Impey was able to return his focus to the future and the cum culmination of his one true dream, which was to fly to the moon. Okay. I guess I can read, uh, Arson's. Only because, you know, it's Arson. He's the main character. He's the main love interest. Arson Lupin. The gentleman thief who is viewed as a dashing hero by the people and as a scoundrel and public enemy by those in charge. We're in part of the Leonard. <laughs> and the Queen. Anyways, uh, Lupin is an incredibly charismatic character with unbiased confidence in his abilities, who has proven time and time again that is not considered boasting if you could back it up. I love that. Because that's so him. And as the one who initially kidnapped Cardadia, kidnapped Cardadia and brought her own into the world, he is the most responsible for her transformation from monster to maiden. Obviously, since he is the true love interest, although I think that should be uh, Victor Frankenstein. So yeah, if you guys want me to read Phoenix's or uh, Sherlock Herlock Sholmes, I'll be more than happy to do that. But, um, yeah. I guess it wouldn't be a true unboxing unless I, uh, try to look at everything. But this video is getting quite long, and my nose is getting drippy. It's like I'm, I'm falling apart, and I don't want to blow my nose on camera, and I don't know how to edit. I feel like I'm just going to rip this. Yeah, why well, I decided to make a video now, I have no idea. Alright. So we have the little uh, button pins of Abe. 
uh, Delacroix, I think. I think that's what his name is. I can't remember. Herlock Shums. Arsene Lupin. Phoenix. Victor Frankenstein. Again, I don't really like care for chibis. Um, Cardadia. Saint Germain. Saint Germain. And Ippy Impy Barbicane. Um, so yeah, that's completely broken. Let me just set this to the side. And I guess I can go ahead and bust this open and take a look at the cloth poster. So I may just want to go ahead and hang it up. I mean, I, I bought it for it, right? So, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. I think I'm going to keep this. I don't want to handle it too much. Because of, uh, I don't want to get too many of my nasty germs on it. And dirty it up. And I guess I can go ahead and bust this open. Yeah, I haven't made a video in a while, so. Figured why not make one now. And there's like no DLC. If you look on the inside, you, uh, I guess you got the little booklet. This is just letting you know the instructions and stuff. That's for the PlayStation Vita. I guess for the remote control. And this is for the PlayStation 4. I'm not going to do any remote controlling. But that's what you get in there. And this is the game. So, alright guys. Hope you enjoyed this long, maybe unnecessary video. But if you happen to like this video... Or you're a fan of video games slash ultimate game stuff in general. Or even a fan of drink testing, taste testing, toys, reviews, stuff like that. Then feel free to check out the rest of my channel. And if you happen to like what you see, then please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe. Do what you gotta do and I will see you all in the next video. Alright guys, talk to you later. Bye. I'm about to blow my nose. <laughs> Laters.